Welcome to Tab Stack Reviews. Now today we are looking at the Galaxy Tab S. Um, I'm actually doing like a first person thing so the camera's actually on my headphones. I'm hoping it doesn't really fall off. If it falls off, then it falls off. Um, so yeah, that's my computer. This is Galaxy Tab S. The Galaxy Tab S is Samsung flagship device of 2014, replacing the outgoing Tab series. So Tab 1, Tab 2, Tab 3, Tab 4. Anyhow, um, Let's do the review. So this has a 2560 by six, I think it's 2560 by 1600 pixels, making a quad HD display. Now, this is a necessity for me because it means I can watch YouTube videos way better than I did before on my Nexus 7. Uh, so this, so this is a super AMOLED display. So you really know Samsung makes quality screens in their devices. So let me show you. Look how good look at the quality of that. So you've got stunning blacks anywhere. Um, it's 60 by 10 aspect ratio compared to the um, newer um, Samsung Galaxy Tab S. Um, um, I think it's 60, that's not 60, it's 4 by 3 ratio. 60 by 10 is barely because then it falls, fills up the whole screen. Anywho, um, let's keep going. So we've also got. Uh, some apps like this is the so it comes with featured with let me show you let me open up Chrome as you can see it's opening up Google Chrome and then if I, I can open up YouTube like so and as you can see this is the main feature of why I wanted this tablet multitasking I barely used it but yeah uh, this tablet comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow this is Android 6.0 Marshmallow but it dates back to Android 4.4 kit. Okay, my camera's about to fall off, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I tried recording this on my phone, and then my phone ran out of storage. Anywho, um, so that's the main thing why I decided to get this tablet. And there's also features such as um, WebEx, which is WebEx meetings. Um, you've got remote PC. That's a show. You get. WebEx, which is right here. I'm um, sorry for the quality. Um, this camera is not the best. I'm a best quality. Uh, this is mainly my face cam on my gaming videos and my older videos. Um, it also comes with uh, what can, uh, a smart manager on the later versions, which means you can uh, free up and clean up your RAM and memory and whatnot. Uh, we've also got Milk Music, which is a free streaming program, which um, Real events of this dial, let me just show you. I think it's a dial, I haven't seen this app for a while. Let me just. Milk is no longer available in Australia, that sucks. I used to use this a lot. Anywho, we've also got. Uh, uh, what else does it come with? Dropbox, it comes with 3, three gigabyte, 5 gigabytes of drop drop. Five gigabytes of drop Dropbox uh, storage, and it also comes with your Google Apps. So let's have a look at the specs. So let me switch my screen. Okay, here's my screen. So let's have a look at the Galaxy Tab S specs before we continue on. Uh, that's if I browse the loads. Otherwise, we'll just look at it on a tablet. So you're looking at, I believe this has an Exynos 7430 or 7830 uh, processor, which is 8 cores. It's got 3 gigs of RAM, I don't know what the graphics chip is, and it runs Android up to Android 6 Marshmallow. So let's have a look, so here's Google Chrome. Uh, this is a Samsung. Google is your... Actually, whilst I'm looking it up, whilst I'm looking it up, I'll go through the, I'll go through the changes, the, the um, so here we go, we've got small tablet specifications, I'm um, hopefully you can hear me alright with my camera up here, so, um, so let's go back to my camera. I'll show you around the tablet. Okay, so here's the screen. Actually, no, I don't need to down a bit So here's the screen here. 
Uh, sorry for the wonky angle, so just need to try and get this clear out. There, man. Uh oh. Gonna spray it down. I feel this whole bit. Um, that's not gonna work. Anyway, here's a screen. So here is the tablet here. Uh, first off, uh, on the in front of the screen, you've got your uh, 2560 by no, 25 no, 2600 by no, 2560 by 1600 super AMOLED display. I believe it does 260 pixels per inch, so that's actually pretty good. Or four or 300 pixels per inch. Uh, down here is your uh, capacitive button to get your uh, bulky tasking button, which I'm going to press right now. As you can see, it's got the typical Android roll fee. Uh, we've also got the home button, which gets back to this screen, it's your main screen, but it's set as your home screen. And you've also got the back button, which just goes back. Um, okay, on the side, you get your head for your three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Again, sorry for the lag, it's just my camera. Three and a half millimeter headphone jack, a speaker, and nothing else. And on the top, you've got an infrared sensor and your power buttons, and you you, know, you can't even see it. Okay, yeah, you can see it there. So over here, you've got your volume buttons and your power on, power off button. Your infrared sensor, which you can use for TV. Oh, over here, uh, this won't be broken, that's your SD card slot, it's like a 32 gig Samsung Evo SD card in there. Um, there you've got another speaker, and that's your micro USB charging cord. Down at the bottom, there is absolutely nothing, I think that's a microphone. And that's it. Anywho, let's go back to it. So I'm going to put my camera back in the room for me. And I'm going to continue on with the camera like that. Okay, I'll give me a tip. I'm going to save all that and go back to desktop. Okay, so here we go. So this tablet's got no cellular technology in connectivity, but there is a 4G model, a LTE model. Uh, it was released in 2014, July. Well, actually, I think it came out in June. Um, the dimension is 9 inch by 6 inch by 0.26 inch. It weighs 465 grams, which is absolutely light. Um, it's like 71 out of 100, I believe I'll do become a fan, I'll plug in. Um, it's got a 10.5, yeah, it's an Exynos 540, 420 optical. Okay, so the display, it's a super AMOLED display, which is 60 million colours, 10.5 inch, 72% screen to body resolution, 2560 by 1600, uh, 288 pixels per inch, just to the close. And there is multi-touch, of course, but most tablets are multi-touch anyway. Uh, Samsung Touch with UI. Uh, standard, you get 4.4.2, and then you can go up to 5.0, and then you can go up to 6.0. Or you can just go straight to 6.0, or stay at 5.0. Yeah, 5420 Ultra, so it's an Ultra course, so it's got a Quad Core Cortex A15 clocked at 1.9 GHz, and a 1.3 GHz Cortex A7. Quite cool. Um, it's got a Mali T628 MP6 GPU, so graphics power unit, processing unit. unit. Um, it's got a micro SD card, which support well, it actually supports up to 128 gigs, but it could be to 56 gigs. Um, it's got 16 to all 32 gigs. It's your choice. I've got a 16 gig model. Uh, because uh, it does, it, it comes with this sleek um, charcoal color, which is really rare to find, and it's got three gigs of RAM, eight megapixel ultra, ultra, ultra focus, fo auto focus LED flash, with geotagging, panorama, HDR, and does 1080p at 30 frames per second. The second there is 2.1, of course. Uh, we can do vibration, every brand, WAV ringtones. Uh, there is a loudspeaker with stereo speakers, and it's a frequent there is a headphone jack. Um, it's got Wi-Fi supporting 802.11 ABG and, and AC, dual band, Wi-Fi direct and hotspot, Bluetooth version 4.0, A2DB and LE. 
Uh, it's got GPS, Glonus and BDS, whatever that means. It's got an infrared port to control your television. Uh, it does not have a radio apparently, but you can download radios from the Play Store. Uh, micro USB version 2, MHL 2.1 and USB host. It's got, finger, it's got a fingerprint scanner, uh, that's also a big thing. Um, the uh, Tab 4, which is the predecessor to this tablet, did not have a, um, a um, port, a, a, a port, a fingerprint scanner, an accelerometer, a gyro, and a compass. Um, it's got email, push email, and IM, instant messaging, HTML5. It does not have any Java support. Um, it's 50 gigs cloud storage, um, MP4 players and all of that, MP3 players, photo video editors and document editors. It has a non-removable lithium-ion 7900 hour battery and it can go literally up to 11 hours of life. Uh, the colours uh, is definitely white titanium, titanium bronze, but if you went for the 60 gig model last year, I think they introduced the charcoal black colour. And actually, with the silver sides, it actually looks better than what. Um, it 0.77 weight to kilograms, and the price would be seven out of ten. Uh, we got a base mark score of eight hundred twenty nine. Was a of base mark OS two, and base marks it it got six thousand eight hundred seventy five, which is pretty good for a tablet. Um, it's got inf infinite contrast ratio. Uh, photo, video, camera, um, voice is 70 decibels, 65 noise and 75 read, negative 95 decibels noise and cross talk negative 96. And yeah, that's the tab S. Uh, I've got not much more to show you, but I'll just get my face cam on and then I'll end the video. So yeah, that is the Galaxy Tab S. Should you buy it? Well, it's out of date, but you can get it if you want um, off eBay and whatnot. I got this from Harvey Norman on the, uh, and I did use it to June 15th, uh, 2015. Uh, I really suggest you do use it for 20, 20 uh, 16 because it runs perfectly fine. I mean, the other issue is sometimes it might restart the um, restart the um, springboard, or whatever you want to call it. I always say springboard, like restart, reset the um, UI when it gets to a certain amount of battery. Anyway, um, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the first actual product review of the Galaxy Tab S. Uh, we've already seen what's on my device. Um, I'm going to probably be doing some more to what's on my devices. I've got another device set up for my free videos. Um, if you want to see me any more product reviews that I've got, I've actually got a couple of um, devices here that I could probably review that I've got access of, such as this. This is the HTC One M8. I could probably do a video just holding it up like this. Um, I've also got the Sony Xperia SP. I've also got some other devices ranging from 2011 to all the way up to 2016. Um, that is pretty much it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please give us a lot. Um, again, sorry for the camera lag. Um, this camera is pretty crappy. Um, crappy quality for a full-size video. Um, I'm probably going to get a new camera very soon. But like when I'm talking, it doesn't really sync with my lips. Uh, this is how bad this camera is. But I'll probably get a better one when I can afford a better one. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.